And we're back to learning Premiere Pro and this time I'm going to show you how to simulate a rack focus effect. It's easy to do, it's often used when there's a jump cut or there's some zoom, some movement. In the video I used a simple clip right here and I used a cut to a C. Let me cut it right here. And I'm going to use this middle segment to simulate the effect. All we need is a Gaussian blur, just type it into your effects and there you should find it, then drag and drop it on the middle element. If you can't find this menu, go to window, there's the effects and we also need the effect controls. So here is our Gaussian blur. So it's for the middle segment, make sure that's active. Go to the starting position, start an animation by clicking on this icon for blueness. Go forward, let's use 100 as a value. A new keyframe is generated, but we've got these black edges. So check the box right here for repeat edge pixels. Could also use 200 for example. And let me go down to 100 and then I'll go down to zero again. Don't worry too much about position. We'll just roll the clip and that's a little bit too slow. We can now reposition these keyframes and make it faster. Let me play it again. Oh, that's better, but it's still a little bit too slow. And once more, I'll play it. And this time, it's what I wanted. So this rack focus is simply an effect that blurs the image and then gets refocused. As I've said, use it when there's motion, when there's a zoom or a jump cut. And you can simulate this effect in Premiere Pro with any footage. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.